Today, we're pleased to be partnering with Litquake to present Decolonizing the Mind, Two Generations of conversation, in Conversations. I want to thank Elise Pru of Litquake and Sarah Manika for helping to make this program possible today. Um, I also want to mention Litquake sponsors, Black Balloon, Blurb.com, the City of San Francisco, and the National Endowment for the Arts. I want to let you know that um, we do have copies of Nairobi Heat, the book by Mukoma Wan and Ngugi for sale downstairs. Um, unfortunately, the books that we ordered for Ngugi Watiango uh, were back ordered and didn't arrive. So I'm sorry, I apologize that we don't have those books available to you today. They will be here in our store probably next week. Um, but I know that you know, he will sign the books afterwards if, if anybody is interested in that. Um, I also want to let you know that at the end of this program, there is one more program that your Liquid Museum pass will get you into. Um, that's at 445 at the Yerba Buena Center, and it's um, people writing about art. So that's at 445 at Yerba Buena. Uh, let me introduce to you our presenters today. Nguyi Watiango is a novelist, essayist, playwright, journalist, editor, academic, and social activist from Kenya. The Kenya of his birth and youth was a British settler colony. As an adolescent, he lived through the Mau Mau War of Independence, the central historical episode in the making of modern Kenya, and a major theme in his early works. He was imprisoned for one year without charge in 1977. He went into exile from Kenya in 1982. His works include Weep Not Child, The River Between, A Grain of Wheat, and many more. He teaches at the University of California, Irvine. His son, Mukomawa Nguli, is the author of Nairobi Heat and an anthology of poetry, Hurling Words at Consciousness. He was shortlisted for the Kane Prize for African Writing in 2009 and the Penguin Prize for African Writing in 2010. He is an assistant professor of English at Cornell. And we have interviewing them today, Sarah Ladip Omanika, who was raised in Nigeria and has lived in Kenya, France, and England. She holds a PhD from the University of California, Berkeley, and currently teaches literature at San Francisco State University. Her writing includes published essays, academic papers, book reviews, and short stories. Her first novel, Independence, is published by Legend Press, and she is the editor of Pulsations, the Journal of New African Writing. It is my pleasure to introduce to you today Nguyi Wa Tiango, Mukoma Wa Nguyi, and Sarah Manika. <laughs> 